guys, so today's video is a bright eyes, bold lip makeup tutorial for fall, which you guys requested when I was wearing this look in my how to fancy high ponytail. So I wanted to do it for all of you who were requesting it. And to get started, I went ahead and did my full face of makeup to make this video go by a little bit quicker in the beginning. So for blush, I used Max Breath of Plum. The first step for eyes is to take Benefit Stay Don't Stray Eye Primer and I'm just going to apply this to my eyelids all the way up to my brow and I start with just putting two little polka dots on and then I use my finger to blend it all around. And this is going to help your shadows stay all day and not crease. So then I'm gonna take my first eyeshadow, which is by MAC, and this is called Naked Lunch. It's a really pretty iridescent color. So using a large fluffy brush, I'm just going to brush this all over my eye the lid up to the brow and this is just going to give us a really great face. Then I'm going to take this soft brown color and using a dome crease brush I'm going to start applying this in my outer corner and then taking it in the crease towards the inner corner. So you just want to kind of define the hollows of your eyes where if you kind of stick your finger in your eye socket it goes in a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to take a darker brown color. This one is Corduroy by MAC. And using that same crease brush, I am just going to apply this mainly on the outer corners of my eyes and then extend it to the center of my crease a little bit more. So this is just going to deepen it up and give us a little more dimension to our eyes. But once we do the lashes and the liner and stuff, your eyeshadow in and of itself actually looks very, very simple. So then I'm going to take Max Brulee eyeshadow and use this as a highlight. So I'm just dusting it under my brow and kind of blending all of the shadows together. And this step is the key to getting this bright eyes look. So you want to take a light eyeliner. I prefer using white. It looks a little less natural than a peach or a yellow eyeliner, but I kind of like the look of the really, really white waterline. So it's going to make your eyes look wider and brighter and bigger. So I'm just going to apply this onto the waterline on both of my eyes. Like I said, someone, if they get really close to you, is going to be able to tell that you have it on. If you do something like a peach, it's going to be a little less noticeable, but I I like this bright white look. And for the upper lash line, I'm going to take this L'Oreal Carbon Black Liner Intense Liquid Liner, and I'm going to start by just applying a thin line across my entire upper lash line. And I filmed myself doing the other eye, but I didn't know that the camera was out of focus, so we are just gonna watch me do one eye. And then once you have this line going all the way across your upper lash line, you wanna follow the lower lash line and do a little tick upwards towards your eyebrow, and then fill it in, and that will give you the winged cat eye effect. So next I'm just going to take this carbon black eyeshadow by MAC with a little liner brush and I'm just putting it on the very 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 outer corners of the um, lower lash line and this is just going to make it blend all together a little better. Then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a really quick coat of the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. This is just going to help your false lashes kind of blend in with the fakes a little bit better. So I'm just doing like a really quick coat. It doesn't matter how good it looks or how clumpy your lashes are. Then I'm going to take my Kiss Ever Easy Lashes in number two. These are my all-time favorite false lashes, and I like to apply them using the Duo Eyelash Glue in clear, and then um, it's white, but it dries clear. So I'm just going to do a very thin line across the entire lash, and then the most important part is to let this dry until it's really just tacky. So I let that dry for like a minute, and then I am placing it on my upper lash line. Try to get it as close to your actual lash line as you can. You can see when I first went to go put it on, it was like at the top of my eyeliner. That is not the look we're going for. So I'm just using a brush to kind of help push this in and make it all perfect. And then I am going on to doing the exact same thing on my other eye. So I'm just gonna let my eyelash glue dry for a little bit and move on to lips and then we will come back to eyes to finish them up. So the first lip product I'm using is this YF YSL Lip Pencil in number eight. So I'm just gonna take this and go ahead and line my lips and then fill them in. This lip liner is amazing. The color is perfect for so many different skin tones and I'm actually not even going to use a lipstick on top of this just a lip gloss so it's very very pigmented and it's also blue based so it makes your teeth look wider so I mean there are just so many good things I love this color and then for lip gloss I'm taking my loved and trusted underage MAC lip gloss and I'm just going to apply this on top of the lip liner and I just absolutely 
love this combination. I've worn it to a lot of like our meetups and book signings and stuff and everyone is always asking me what it is. So then we're gonna go back to eyes and I'm just going to do another coat of mascara and this is just gonna kind of fuse the false lashes and your real lashes together and make it look more natural and then don't forget to get your lower lashes and yeah that is the entire bright eyes bold lip fall makeup tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will talk to you later bye i see your face everywhere i just need to hear your voice even if it